Hey everybody, welcome to part 6 of Spiral the Dragon. This video is brought to you in part by GameAnyone.com. So, let's dive into the first official level of this world. Also, for some reason my jump button didn't work. Joy. But, okay, it seems fine. It seems to do that anytime I stop recording. Anyways, let's go to Terrace Village. Not the only village level to ever show up in a Spyro game, but definitely, definitely a fun one. I like this one. I, a lot of time as a kid, I would forget this level's way back here. And just, like, completely forget and be like, wait, I'm missing a level here, where is it? Anyways, four gems and two dragons. Like I said, dragons really aren't much of a, a thing here. I believe to progress, you need more treasure. So we got electrified tanks. I love the sound effect when you kill them and go, Row! Also, I forgot to record any Yu-Gi-Oh today. I'm like, I'm not only record, I'm not only gonna have Spyro uploaded, guys, but I'm gonna go and record that once I'm done recording this because I can actually record that while uploading. I cannot record this while uploading for some reason. My computer really uses a lot of power to upload for some odd reason. I'm not entirely sure why, but. Yeah, this level's gonna require you to do a lot of, like, backtracking, just when you've already been places, because you kinda go off to the side a lot. It's not a very big level, though, and in all honesty, it's actually quite small. The next level, though, is actually gonna be fun and lengthy, and then the next level isn't necessarily lengthy, it's just difficult. And we've already done the flight, so yay! Might actually be able to get this entire world done in this episode. Depending on how long I want to record. I don't want this to be more than a 15 part project though, because like, I know it too well for it to be that much. Now if I did a level per episode, then you'd be looking at like a... Well, like a 30-40 part series. I think I got everything back here though, right? Okay, no, I just looped around anyway. See what I mean? Like, this level... Ah, darn it. I had to stop there for a second for some reason. But we recovered. Took damage, but we're fine. And one of our two dragons, also our first checkpoint. I think I want to kill these guys though before. Also, he can kill the other enemies if they're on the ele uh, electrified platform. At least I believe he can. Oh man, not again. I hate these little guys. They're such a pain in the arse. Hey, a rocket. And I'm not talking about no rocket raccoon either. This ain't no Marvel movie, guys. Anyways, let's grab this rocket, see where it leads. Like, we'll see what it blows up. Hopefully it's the one down here. If not, then oh well. Something back there, but I don't think it's important. We're dead. So now we can go grab our dragon. And have a lot of the level pre-saved. So, wait! Who do we got? We got Claude. Watch out, Spyro. The Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity. And it really stings. I guess, technically speaking, the homeworld one just said the swamp was nice. I never actually talked about the electricity, but yeah. Oh, I thought he could kill the enemies. Maybe it's, like, specific enemies. Oh, no, I think it's fodder. I think he can kill the fodder on it. So don't focus the big guy. Also, the next dragon is right there. Kind of, like I said, it's a really small level, but just with, like, a lot of, like, going around itself. 17 lives. Wait, were we losing lives in the speedway? I don't know. I swear we were already at 17 lives and didn't die before that, so... Or die after that point, so... And you're not electrocuting me there, buddy. Fall off the cliff! Oh, he didn't fall off the cliff. Oh, we have to go around to get back up. I really do like the swamp world, though. Like, it's not my favorite world. My favorite world is actually the one that comes after this, even though it doesn't have a lot of my favorite levels. Actually, I do like all the levels in it. Boink. I'm just gonna kill off all these guys before we, uh, continue on. Go down there, and then... Finish off you. And then we'll go down here, and then we will go and deal with that dragon. Because, remember, dragons save your progress, so if you die... Or if you're scared of dying, just go back to him. Also, this literally looped us around to that spot that we have to go down and around. See what I mean? This entire level is just a giant loop. 
Also, my girlfriend hasn't really been messaging much today, so I've gotten a lot of time to record. And we got Cyprin. Good job, Spyro. One day you'll be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing adventures. Sure, but what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp. He's like, you ruined it, Spyro. We love this swamp. Man, these guys would defend the swamp with their life. Me, I don't really want to live in this swamp. See, the thing is, is, I could actually live in the bayou. I think it would be cool. Though it would be hot, it would be full of bugs, and that's probably the worst part. As long as I had a toilet. The thing is, is I need a toilet in my life. Like a flushable toilet. Like that's the one first world thing that I actually want, you know? Now, for you guys probably wondering, well, there's not enough gems over there. There's a secret staircase right here. And as a kid, I never knew that. This would be like the one level that I couldn't get 100% on. First of all, could never find it. And second of all, could never get 100%. When I did find it, you know? Bunch of red gems right there. Yeah, because see, we're still missing over 100 gems. See, like, they have to be somewhere. And they're right over here. So we got another rocket. And then we got an... One of these gem hoppy things, plus another rocket. I love the sound effect with the heads that are on that. You can hear them break. I don't believe they can hurt you if you stand too close. I think later games they might be able to? I don't think they ever could, though. I'm pretty sure they can. Money! Hey, that'll bring it to an even number again. I mean, not an even number. Well, an interval of five. No, it'll bring it to an even number. This level, see, it's going to take almost 8 minutes to beat, but at the same time, it's not a long level in terms of, like, how it's built. It's just, you got to backtrack and loop around an awful lot, and I'm not complaining. I actually thoroughly enjoy the level. I don't know if you guys could tell that, but... Whoa. You want to wait till he electrocutes it, because then you can just fly in and kill him. And almost get electrocuted because you missed him the first time. And with that, we got everything. So another level bites the dust. Solar Warlock beating the Spyro game as if it were nothing. Then again, this is like, the I know these games like the back of my hand. Now, he said 12 or 14,000 treasure, so we still got a ways to go in the treasure department. We got all the eggs, though, and we're getting close to all the dragons. Now let's go to Misty Bog, aka level 2. At least I'm pretty sure it's level 2. Fun level, though. I believe it's technically the most filled when it comes to collectibles in the swamp levels. Also, nice music here. We got 500 gems and 4 dragons. Yeah, it's the only one that I believe has this many. So, why did I flame you? I just wanted to flame the wood, but then I'm like, oh, there's an enemy. So, yeah, we got these chicken things. Also, dragon eating plants. Yummy! And I love how, like, the frogs here, like, I always thought it was a joke because, you know, they call them attack frogs. I'm like, huh, I wonder if they really are attack- No, they are really are attack frogs. Oh, well. That failed me. All my deaths have been caused by me and ledges. Also, is this not the beginning of the- Oh, it is. I didn't realize that we did very little of this level. Like, I love how, like, all my deaths. What have they been? Enemies? No, they've just been me walking off a cliff or falling off a cliff. Because I want to investigate. Hey, let's get my life back. You know, or since I'm a gamer, a lot of people think I have no life, but... At least my girlfriend likes gaming. Now watch out, these things have really long taunts. See? They can lash you from really far away. Okay. Good thing we didn't die to those frogs. These frogs are actually relatively tough. Something back here, though. Hey, another life! Thank you! We're finally past the 17 mark! Ooh, lots of sapphires. Seeing blue for days. You wanna come and eat me? Nah, too bad. You're weak to fire, like a grass Pokemon. <laughs> what do we got here? We got Roscoe. Be on the lookout for attack frogs. 
They are cold-blooded killers. Attack frogs? And this used to be such a nice swamp. Yeah, frogs are surprising. They actually are dangerous. And once again, another guy who asks or talks about the swamp being nice. It's like, yeah, I, the swamps aren't that nice, man. I love how, like, he'll just stop chasing the Nork and attack us. Now we gotta go back up here to actually continue. That was just an island to distract us. Where we need to go is this pathway with lots of these little guys. I love how not all of them make the same sound effect when they die. Like, it's only two different sound effects, but they do have multiple sound effects. Oh, he's gonna skin that chicken, you see that? Right before our eyes. It's not something we need to see. And I'm like, did that grab it or not? I highly recommend you come over here so then you can attack these frogs before they attack you. There we go. Oh yeah, and guess what? More. When I said this level is going to be tough, I meant because of these guys. In my opinion, it's the first level. Probably one of the only levels where the enemies are actually somewhat threatening and are the biggest threat in the level. Most of the time it's like gliding or falling off cliffs or something like that. But no, not this level. It's those attack frogs. And we got Damon. Matt Damon. Thanks for releasing me. It seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. Oh no. Why? I remember... Uh, gotta go! Ah, see what I mean? He's rude to the elder. I believe there's 80 dragons in the game, so we're... just under 30 left. We have 29 to go. Now, let's see. Also, totally see that the game has graphical limits by how far you can see. I always thought this way actually led somewhere though, but I guess it doesn't actually lead anywhere. Can I actually go back this way? No. Oh wait, no, I think it loops around up top. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe there was like more to this, but there really wasn't. Yeah, see it? It loops around right here. All the way back to the beginning though. I thought I see my iPod go up, but it didn't. Aw, oh, this is the level that I want to see remade the most on this one, and the next world. Like, all of next world. I don't really care about the rest of the game. I know what it looks like, or what it's gonna look like, or... You know, get a good, uh... Idea of what it'll be like. These things are kind of like evil, small versions of Executor. You know, the uh, coconut Pokemon that also got a really long neck form in Sun and Moon? Slash Ultra Sun and Moon. I think what made people upset is like this game was pretty much the exact same and was really relatively close together. Not like Black and White, which were the first two sequels, by the way, Zeke, that were together but had Thank completely different storylines. Ultra Sun and Moon had pretty much the exact same storyline, just throwing a Krozma in there. And while the game added a lot of like post-game stuff and like side-game stuff, it didn't really change the story. I think that's what people disliked about it. It's not like how Black and White was released right after Black and White, or like Black and White 2 were released after Black and White. They had a different story. This game didn't have a different story and was released right after. And that's the issue. Like, it was a good game and all. It just lacked creativity in the story department. It also felt like Sun and Moon was more of an amusement park than an actual region. The other regions felt more fun to explore. This one was... didn't really have much to explore. It's like, yeah, do this, do that. You're here. It's a tourist attraction. Yeah, you're from Kanto, but you're actually living in, in Alola. And it's like, but it's not something I really care about, you know? Yeah, I couldn't care less. So how much am I missing? Still a lot. Here's the last dragon, though. I also need some health. I'll probably die, so we'll grab this dragon, which is Bubba. I'll tell you what to do with those creatures. Smash them, Spyro! Stamp them out and squish them and squash them! <laughs> uh, huh. 
How about charge them and flame them? We are dragons after all. Yeah, that also works. But you know, he's big and burly, so... Also, what did I do? I need to actually go up here. You need to hop up on here, and then you actually need to glide over to this little wall. And then you can do it to this. And this is actually where the rest of the stuff is. And as a kid, that was never really a secret to me for some reason. I knew exactly where to go. But to a lot of people, they don't realize that there's stuff up here. Like, it's like a complete surprise. I don't blame them, because it's kind of out of the way, but... Oh yeah, the swamp. This is what I mean, like... I'll probably die trying to glide into this, because I always did as a... Or, you know, die falling in, but sure. That's not what I meant. Like, I meant the first glide there, game. Not not the glide afterward that's easy. For some reason, my X button doesn't like to actually click properly a lot of the time. It does that with, like, other games, too. So it's clearly the controller. See, it did it again. Unless it's just that spot, maybe. Also, why do you keep turning around? I'm not looking that way. So we got an army of these dudes again. Is that all of them? Okay, I got them all. Didn't want to miss any, you know? I got two of these, and this one. Now we'll see if this is everything. Which it is, so now with that we can just exit the level. Another level gone. That one was a little longer than I was expecting, but we beat it. 7,000. Might actually not get the boss in this episode, but we will get close to having all the levels done. We'll definitely do treetops, even if it kills me. I said we were probably going to need an entire half an episode dedicated to it. Well. Let's see if this will be the longest episode to beat out last episode. Even the last episode was supposed to be on par with the other ones. The flight took a little bit longer than I expected it to. So we got that thief. Who wakes up everybody but then gives us money in the end. Ugh, these monkey men. So there's a whirlwind at the beginning, but that's later on. 500 gems and 3 dragons. So yeah, once again, focuses on gems, not necessarily dragons. Yeah, watch out, these guys can throw bananas at you. I thought they were just like people, but they actually are monkeys. Cause like, oh yeah, apparently you can stop cannons with your, cannonballs with your head, but you can't stop bananas. I guess Spyro's allergic to bananas, right? That was, that'd be the only thing that would make sense, you know, splats on your head, you get an allergic reaction, you take damage. Oh gosh darn it, man. That was, last level, though, had quite a few lives. I believe their only attack, though, that can hurt you is bananas. Wasn't there another one here? Why did I think there was a third one? I guess it was just him. Hence why he didn't throw bananas at me. Because he already did, and he was recharging. Oh well. Ah, our first of the three dragons. The last dragon is going to be really hard to find, by the way. Don't be discouraged if you can't find him right away. I still have to remember the pathway to get to him. Anyways, let's pick him up and see who we get. We got our boy Lyle. Greetings, Spyro. For an amazing tour of the treetops, don't just stop at one supercharge. <sighs> Yeah, so we got the supercharge again. The second time, and the second last time, we'll actually see it. Now what it's saying is you want to take that, and then you want to actually take this one. Ah, uh, that didn't actually work. It didn't count. Shoot. So we made it to the end of the level, at least. We also get some health down here. This is also where another whirlwind is, kind of like the beginning of the level. Now we gotta do all this to get our money, because they love these devices in this game for some reason. Not entirely sure why. They're not very fun to deal with. Also, there is a supercharge here, but you need two to actually be able to abuse it. Also, sometimes it glitches like that, and it says that you can supercharge, but in reality you can't. It only does it for like a split second, and then it recovers. Let's go back up. Also, those thieves retreat to the end of the level. 
you're probably not going to see him for a while. But here's a red one, and he's going to wake up these enemies. Also, there's the chest, so coming back this way wasn't a waste of time. That's all greens and one gold. Uh, at least we haven't had a level where we're missing like one gem. You guys notice that? We haven't had that yet. Anyways, we got another dragon by the name of Isaac. Spell the K though. Spyro, if you jump at the end of a supercharge ramp, you can really go far. I'm all over it. So more supercharge advice. Even though we already got that advice. Without even necessarily needing it in the supercharge advice. I think it's this spot that I want, right? I'm pretty sure it's this spot that I wanted. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is either to the end of the level or... Yeah, this is to the end of the level. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a second. Sorry, I had a stupid, like, clutter warning on my computer. It's like, clutter? There's, like, nothing in my computer. Like, if you go on my computer and look what's in it, the only clutter would be all the downloads that the computer itself does for updates. But yeah, we got some gems from that thiefy boy. Can you can you get unstuck? Thank you. Two ninety nine. I think we can actually take the. Uh... What? Oh, okay. We completely phased through that. See, we need to get on that. We need to supercharge there. That's gonna be hard. So we're just gonna take this, and we're going to go here and break this. Also kill you because we can kill literally any sized enemy with Supercharge. Supercharge Extraordinary. Also, thank you for my life back. This, this game is pretty forgiving with lives in this world. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you missed. What are you gonna do? Just die? That's what I thought. Where is this lead? This just leads here, so yeah. Fun and exciting. This just led here. Now the issue is, is we're going to have to deal with spawning up that dragon every time. So if we fail or have to backtrack, well guess what, now we got to do it even more. Now I always forget, because there's only like one part of the level left. We still have to go back to that island that I skipped over. But other than that, I'm not entirely sure where we're supposed to go again. And that's my issue with this level in general. So I apologize if you can hear scratching. The cats are attacking their clawing board again. Not that I'm going to get mad at them because they're being good by doing so. Well, let's see. Let's look around. We've already been down there. There's nothing over there. So I'm pretty sure what we want to do is with this one. Oh yeah, well that failed. I regret that immediately. Can I like even make that one? I don't think I can. Sadly, and sadly I have to take this one again. Wait, or can I take this? Or not this? I don't actually know. But we're going back this way. If uh, we die again or fail, I'm going to try that. Like I said, you'll probably see some editing towards the end of this series because it will get a little more monotonous, but... Probably not too much. Other than this, this is like the first time we're really losing progress. Because I just can't use him again to save, you know? Whoop. Whoop. Wait, what? Again? Why did it do that? We collected some of the treasure, at least. There we go. We'll take this pathway. Alright, and now we can take this one. Okay, that was weird, but we made it up here. Ah, who are you? Oh, you're that enemy, okay. Oh, can you stop, please, and just die? I'm pretty sure this is just towards the end. Yeah, we don't want to go this way. Well, that's extremely disappointing that that didn't work. 
Treetops has always been the After this, uh, there's only one spot that can be a pain in the butt to glide to in the next level, and then after that, the rest of the game is actually relatively not so bad. These are my opinions. So see, what we have to do is we have to get those two ramps to actually work with each other, because we need the boost. Also, I just realized there's a very little amount of health in this level. So we're probably going to be partially damaged for an eternity! Okay, no, never mind. I'm not going that way, then. So we'll probably collect most of the gems for the rest. See, we need to get over there, to that island. So you can see the dragon and stuff over there. Thanks, enemy. Whoa, 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 I was not expecting you. Actually, it could just be that platform that I need itself. Maybe it's just this one I need. Well, no, but we got this at least. Which has another life. Ow, you! And he just straight up falls off. Cool. See, and then this is supposed to be the end, so clearly we're supposed to be able to get to that spot before this. Well, then again, not always. Oh wait, the th I'm like, the thief? Did we not kill the thief? No, the th thief comes back. He's considered a basic enemy. I don't know if they actually come back in any other game. Just this one. Can I actually, like, go this way and do anything? Or what? Alright, oh, yeah, let's see. No, I can't actually go that way. Well, that's just to the end, uh, exit again. So we'll go back this way. Also, the ground keeps disappearing. Also, this music, I believe, is actually partially used again. In a later Spyro game. I'm not gonna say which one, but it is. No, oh, is it? Wait, what? Oh my... Why can't I go there? I'm pretty sure I need to get up there and over there, but... Maybe here. Maybe? Oh no, I did this again. Why did I do this? Okay. Like, I need to get over there. Can I actually, like, glide over there? Without, you know, dying? No. Try this again. Eh, oh well. Well, see, this spot is just the ending again. So yeah, it's not this ramp. This ramp literally gives us nothing. So we do know we do know for a fact it's with the other dragon that we got. Let's go back and go this way. It's this way. What we're seeking is definitely this way. I wonder if I could just save my progress on that dragon and if that's where I'll actually save. Because honestly, I think I just want to stay there. Let's see. Take that, because then that's back down there. But okay, camera angle is really bad right there. Whoa, yeah, almost just walk off, thank you. Okay, let's see if saving here will help. I'm not ending the episode just yet, so don't worry. Oh, here we go. There we go! I don't know why I forgot how to do that. So I don't have the darn whirlwind, that would just suck. all of this money. Okay, it's all the money and the last dragon. Let's grab him. We got Jedediah. That was quite a ride, Spyro. You've learned a lot since you were a young glider. Yeah, well you could have found an easier spot to get stuck. Yeah, exactly, bro. 
So anyways, that does it for this episode, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe as we go to take on Metalhead in the next episode. Bye bye and have a wonderful day.